the UH-60 Blackhawk, an icon of modern warfare, terrified enemies with its power, speed, and incredible versatility. With over 50 different variants built for any situation, this twin-engine medium-lift helicopter became the most recognizable aircraft. But now you will see what makes it so special. The development of the Black Hawk began in the early 1970s, at a time when the United States Army urgently needed a versatile and highly reliable helicopter that could be used for everything from troop transport to medical evacuation and combat support. The Vietnam War had exposed significant gaps in the existing helicopters, particularly in terms of survivability, adaptability, and operational range. In 1976, Sikorsky Aircraft won the contract to produce the Black Hawk, officially designated the UH-60, to replace the aging UH-1 Hueys. The design featured twin turboshaft engines, a rugged airframe and advanced rotor technology that made it highly maneuverable and capable of operating in challenging environments. The first production Black Hawks were delivered to the United States Army in 1979, and they were there to stay. The Black Hawk was designed with survivability in mind, Crashworthy fuel tanks, armored seats, and redundant flight controls greatly improved crew safety compared to its predecessors. And this was immediately demonstrated in one terrifying incident. Late at night on August 9, 1976, disaster struck the Sikorsky team when a prototype Black Hawk helicopter crashed at Fort Campbell. The helicopter had been carrying a full crew of 14 young Army personnel during a nighttime test flight. The trouble started when the skin of the rotor blade began peeling away, causing violent vibrations that forced the pilot to immediately crash land. Guiding the aircraft straight down in dense forest, the Black Hawk cut through around 40 trees on the way. The helicopter hit the ground hard, but incredibly the only injury was a bruise sustained by a squad leader who jumped out of the helicopter and ran straight into the stump of a tree that had been chopped down by the rotor blades. Just two days later, an army team fitted the helicopter with four new main rotor blades, replaced the damaged tail rotor, and cranked up the engines. To everyone's amazement, the crashed helicopter took off again from the crash site as if nothing had happened. This near disaster became a turning point, providing solid proof that the Black Hawk was going to be a reliable helicopter. One of the first things to stand out was its speed. It could easily reach up to 183 miles per hour, significantly more than the UH-1 Huey's limit of 127 miles per hour. Pilots who transitioned from the Huey to the Black Hawk said it felt like being in a spaceship. The cockpit was much more complex, with many new buttons and controls, and pilots were thrilled by its maneuverability, describing the helicopter as doing whatever they wanted. Besides speed, it could carry heavier loads while maintaining its agility. It could transport 11 fully armed troops or a maximum internal payload of 2,640 pounds. Additionally, it could lift up to 9,000 pounds, allowing it to transport artillery, vehicles, and even other helicopters if necessary. The initial versions were armed with two machine guns on pintle mounts manned by door gunners, just like in the Hueys, but this was just the warm-up for the armaments that would soon come. First, the M240H machine guns replaced the M60D, offering greater suppressive firepower. Then came the miniguns, and some versions were even fitted with the fearsome GAU-19 Gatling gun, a 50 caliber weapon capable of firing up to 2,000 rounds per minute. There were also rocket pods with unguided 70 mm Hydra rockets and AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, precision-guided weapons designed to take out tanks, bunkers, and other high-value targets. However, weapons were not what made the Black Hawk special. It was packed with cutting-edge technology, which allowed it to operate in conditions where previous helicopters would not dare to fly. One of the most crucial pieces of tech was the AN-APQ-174 multi-mode radar, which enabled it to operate in all weather conditions, scan for terrain obstacles, and detect enemy targets while providing precision navigation data. Thick fog, clouds, rain, and night were no longer a problem, and missions could be executed at the least expected moment, catching the enemy completely off guard. It also helped the helicopter stay low to the ground and avoid enemy radar detection. The ANAAQ-16 forward-looking infrared system was another key technology installed on Special Operations Blackhawks. 
This system allowed the Black Hawk to see heat signatures, detecting enemy forces and vehicles, especially when they were hiding in rough terrain or at night. The FLIR system worked by detecting the heat emitted by objects and living beings, translating it into a visual image that pilots could see on their monitors, so the enemy could run but could not hide for long. Besides targeting enemies, this was extremely important for combat search and rescue missions, such as the extraction of downed pilots or wounded soldiers. A great example of this is the rescue of Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell during the Lone Survivor mission, where Blackhawks had to save him after a deadly firefight deep in Taliban-held territory. In addition, the Black Hawk was equipped with night vision goggles, allowing pilots to see clearly even in near total darkness. The NVGs worked by capturing ambient light through a series of lenses and electronically enhancing it, creating a brighter image for the wearer. The NVGs provided a green-tinted view, which became iconic for night operations. And if the enemy tried to detect or target the Black Hawk, the AN-APR-39 radar warning receiver would turn the situation around in the helicopter's favor. The system would pick up signals from enemy radar alert the crew that they were being targeted and give them precious time to make evasive maneuvers or deploy decoys. In this way, the enemy would also reveal their position to the Black Hawk, which could come back around and counterattack or relay the information to other attack aircraft. When it came to surface-to-air guided missiles, the Black Hawk protected itself with chaff or flare decoys and a modern infrared countermeasure system, which confused heat-seeking missiles making them lose track of the helicopter's heat signature. Additionally, the satellite communication system allowed the crew to stay in constant contact with ground forces, other aircraft and base. Thanks to the fuel receiver in-flight extension system, once airborne, the Black Hawk could stay in the air for as long as needed. It could refuel mid-flight using a refueling probe that connects to a tanker plane's drogue. This process requires precise coordination between the Black Hawk pilot and the tanker crew, but is crucial for long-range missions. The Black Hawk's airframe was designed to absorb crash impacts, and its main and tail rotor blades were reinforced to withstand hits from small arms fire. It also had redundant hydraulic systems, meaning if one system was damaged, the helicopter could still limp back to base instead of crashing in hostile territory. The Stealth Black Hawk is a secretive, modified version of the Black Hawk helicopter built for covert missions. It's designed to avoid detection using radar-absorbing materials, quieter rotor blades and a reshaped body to reduce its radar and noise signature. This allows it to fly deep into enemy territory without being noticed, and it remains a highly guarded secret. However, during the 2011 raid on Osama bin Laden, one of two Black Hawks carrying SEALs had to crash land in the compound because the walls created unexpected airflow issues, which led to a loss of lift. Although it crash landed, the operation continued successfully and the SEALs had to destroy the top secret helicopter with explosives. However, the tail section survived almost intact, giving the world a glimpse into the highly classified stealth technology. Despite all the incredible capabilities of this aircraft, there have been tragic incidents, the most famous being the Black Hawk Down incident, which inspired the movie based on the Battle of Mogadishu. Two Black Hawks were shot down by Somali fighters using relatively simple rocket-propelled grenades, which until that moment were believed to be little threat to modern helicopters. This led to a long, brutal fight as United States soldiers tried to rescue the crews and recover the helicopters at great cost.